This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Eddie Hearn, there was a time you wouldn't have been seen dead at one of these. I know, well after I did Logan Paul against KSR, I said that's my lot, but you know, my daughter's here tonight, it's her birthday, and it just shows you that generation, they want to see it. Yep. You know, and I think sometimes we take it a little bit too seriously. Oh, this is it. Like, just forget about it, it's just entertainment. Yep. But you said to me earlier, not really my cup of tea, not really my cup of tea either, but I'm quite interested to see what's going to happen. Yep. I'm excited to feel the energy, and I know when I leave the arena tonight, I'm going to go, that was, that was good. Yep. It's not boxing. There's only going to ram in a million new subscribers tonight, and when they do, we've got to try and convert them to watch the real stuff starting next Saturday for nine weeks. Yep. But we've also got to learn from some of the things these guys are doing. I'm not talking about sitting in a cage, but I'm talking about the way fighters are promoting, the way they're using social media, the way we're building the narrative. And I know these guys have huge followings anyway, so it's easier, but certain things that they're doing here that works. And we've got to fight back almost to make sure that we have our turn next week. I've been in the arena since 6.30, Eddie, and it was absolutely rammed. Yeah. That never happens on a show, even the big ones. And I think that's going to be difficult to do, yeah. full stop. Yeah. But we can do better. Do you know what I mean? We've got to educate that audience that are coming that you shouldn't stand in a concourse having six pints before the main event. Yeah. And you know now you sometimes see someone with a following who come to watch them fight at 5.30 and then they go. They've paid for a ticket, but they go before the main event because they go for a bit of dinner. And so, so you've yeah. got to just educate. It's a different world. These guys have massive, massive followings. And, um, but it's a fascinating world. And like I said, it's going to be a very exciting world for people like DAZN. And that's why the responsibility is on boxing to keep the product hot to yeah. compete with stuff like this. You talked about proper boxing next week and in Liverpool, Eddie. Can you talk us through the card? Yeah, it's a big card. I mean, obviously, Catra against Linares, Peter McGraw in his first big fight, Shabazz Massoud in his matchroom debut for us as well. It's a great fight between Akib Fiaz and Reese Bellotti yeah. for the Commonwealth title as well. Khalid Majid against Tom Farrell. Um, there's loads that I've missed as well, but it's a, it's a really good card in Liverpool. And then we're out to Cancun. Then we're in Monte Carlo, then we're in Newcastle yeah. for Pat McCormack's big night. Do I get preferential treatment up there, always, Eddie? Always, <laughs> always. And uh, it's a big run coming up. Obviously, Cameron against Taylor on November 25th. Yeah. And then December 2nd, Mick Conlon against uh, Jordan Gill, big card. The 9th, Haney Progray, 16th, Bam against uh, Sonny. And then hopefully 23rd, Conor Ben against Chris Eubank. That's the absolute aim. That was the very last question. I've heard some rumours tonight. Ben Eubank's a little step closer. Can you give us any update? Yeah, it definitely is. They thought we were going to announce it tonight. We're not. But we're all on the same page. We want this fight December 23rd in the UK. Definitely in the UK? That's what we want to do. But I will do everything I can to make that happen. Brilliant, Eddie, I'll let you dash. Thanks for your time.